So I'm Craig Erickson. I'm a professor of psychiatry at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center and the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. I'm the director of the Fragile X Research and Treatment Center at Cincinnati Children's. And really my research is focused on translational medicine or new treatment development and neurodevelopmental disorders primarily in Fragile X syndrome. And cannabidiol is an ingredient in cannabis or marijuana, but it's free of any THC. So essentially it's equally in hemp products as you know you would find it in marijuana. And in this study, it's really commercially manufactured. And I think what you can order is a potency probably at least tenfold less than what's being studied. And then the form is different with the transdermal gel that essentially rubs on the skin is absorbed and, and then you're done versus tinctures that may go in the mouth or under the tongue. So it's essentially not a psychoactive you know, drug of abuse in any way. Uh, it has very limited drug-drug interactions. It has a very well demonstrated safety profile in this new formulation. Goals so. are reduction in anxiety, which I think we all know is a very key element of Fragile X, and then potential improvements in communication and other interfering behaviors, disruptive behaviors. You know, one thing is there's not a ton of Fragile X data on use of cannabidiol uh, with this formulation. So there was a small study in Australia that was an open label study, meaning everybody got treatment. And frankly, there's pretty uniform improvement on all measures in that report. So while we think it should help with anxiety and maybe calm down other disruptive behaviors, I think it's really gonna take this study to define exactly what the positive benefits may be if they exist compared to placebo there. Now it's just rubbed into the skin like a suntan lotion or any other cream. And reports from families that we've experienced is that that's a very easy way to dose and administer the drug. So I think that's very positive and, and family friendly in the administration. It's absolutely safe. And when we counsel families about it, because you know, as you may know, there's a lot of interest in the concept. Cannabidiol is extremely uh, you know, intriguing generally and in fragile acts. And we counsel families that has a great demonstrated safety profile. It doesn't have significant drug-drug interactions. There's no THC. It's not gonna have these psychoactive, unusual effects like THC containing marijuana would. Um, but it's yet to be proven what it does in Fragile X. So, so the whole project is um, overseen by the Drug Enforcement Agency, or the DEA. And so, you know, the drug is stored in a safe, it's tightly monitored, it's provided in sealed you know, containers to families, but there's no concern that if you have that on your person or there are any issues with it that anyone would be violating any laws in the United States or any specific state. Three to 17, so I think you know, that's, been a, that's been a concern from family stakeholders and others that there's not an adult program. And so we end up turning away a lot of families, in particular in the young adult range, who aren't eligible as this is limited to three to 17. Those of us that have talked with Sinerva have really emphasized this and we hope future iterations can move into the adult age range. So there are no costs to participate. There's some, you know, we always reimbursement available for time spent to a degree. But I think with any project, look, families are making a major investment. I think we would be making it up if we said folks were ever adequately monetarily compensated. So you have to participate because it's right for your family. There's some potential benefit to the individual and then benefit to the greater Fragile X community. And that's where I think the open label extension is very positive with this. And we really counseled Zenerba and we're pleased that that's moving forward, that if you go through essentially the challenge of 50% you get placebo, 50% you get the active drug for the, during the 14 week period, that you can move on into an extension where for up to a year it's, it's guaranteed treatment.